Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to the L'Oreal Beauty K series. Today I've been challenged to create a themed look, but how and with what is the surprise? So let's take a look at the beauty case. Okay, so it is an 80s look we're going to be going for. So that screams to me just bold, glamour, statement looks. I guess at the 80s you could do like even a blue smoky eye and something really, really out there. But I think for me, when I think of 80s and more modern 80s, I think of like a statement eye, maybe some golds, some really spiky dramatic lashes and a, maybe a dark lip, like a red lip would be really beautiful and some contour and a, a high blush on the cheek. I think that's really 80s. Okay, so let's have a look at the products I get to work with. Okay, so we have True Match Foundation. I love this, it's a really nice medium coverage. Also one of my favorite primers, the Lumi Magique Base, that's amazing. And some blushes. I don't think I've tried this one, but it's a great peachy pink kind of color, which would be really nice. High on the cheek for that 80s glam. So let's check this bottom drawer and see what we've got. Okay, I think a statement lip is definitely on the cards. I guess we can just get started. I think I'm going to go for a nice matte full coverage base today because that's what I tend to go with when I'm going for a glam, you know, statement look. It's nice to have the skin as a really even canvas. So I think True Match might be the best foundation for me today. My shade is W4. You'll probably notice that my face is slightly lighter than my body and that's because I have fake tanned. So my foundation is going to match that. It's gonna be slightly darker as well. I've already prepped my skin by cleansing and moisturizing and everything, which is essential before you start with your base. So everything just applies really smoothly and evenly then. This foundation blends so easily, I love it. It gives you a really nice full coverage, a well, medium to full coverage, but it goes on in very thin layers, so it doesn't feel very heavy and cakey on the skin. So next I'm gonna conceal under my eyes. I think I'm gonna use a slightly lighter shade just to brighten up that area, and the True Match Concealer is one of my faves, so I'm definitely gonna use that. I'm going to use the shade three. So it's just slightly lighter than the foundation shade that I've selected. I really like how thin the consistency is of this concealer, but it does give you that coverage that you need for an evening glam look. I also like to apply some to my eyelids, especially when I'm going and doing a very like heavy eye look because it primes the lids and cancels out any pigmentation that you might have up there. I think what I will do next is maybe add some contour to the cheek. The Infallible Sculpt Palette, I think, is a great one for that. It's a cream, so I can do that before I powder or set anything. Just make sure that's really nicely blended into the hairline as well, so that you don't see any telltale lines. So I'm just going to kind of draw a line from the top of my ear down towards the corner of my mouth. And then just balance the sponge over the edge and you can see you've got a lot of definition there and it's going to look very high glam. Okay, so now that we're looking all sculpted, I think I might add just a touch of the lighter shade in the Sculpt palette, just towards the center of the face, just to really make that pop. I'm going to take a clean beauty blender so I don't mix the shades together and just apply that I like to set the perimeter of my face with a slightly darker powder, and then I like to set the under eyes with a lighter powder. So you don't want to go too heavy with this, just a light dusting to keep everything in place. For an evening look, I always like to set the areas of my face where a product moves. I'm just going to add a touch to the center of the forehead where we applied that lighter concealer. Slightly down the center of the nose and top lip. And then I can move on to the darker powder and I'm just going to dust that around the outside of the face. Let's see what else we have over here. I think I'm going to add a touch of blusher now. I might go with a blush sculpt because that's going to give me a much better like striking color, which is kind of what we want for the 80s. They didn't go too soft with anything. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and just mix those shades together. And I'm going to apply that, I think, quite high on the cheek because, again, that just screams 80s to me, a nice high blush cheek. So just going to start at the apple of the cheek here and blend backwards, keeping it quite high, like I said, which is super 80s. Oh, it looks amazing. 
Oh, I have the True Match highlight. I tried this yesterday for the first time and oh my God, the pigment off this is insane. Wait till you see this. So I'm just going to mix these three shades together and then apply to the top of the cheekbone. Are you ready for this? Like it's insane. Oh, look how amazing. And just across the brow bone as well for an uber glam look. You can also add a touch to the other high points of your face if you want as well, just to bring, you know, luminosity to some areas of the face, but we're still keeping that flat matte 80s look. I'm going to move on to the eyes. I think I'm going to use a pencil for my brows today. I can spot one here. I'm going to start just by defining the baseline of my brow and flicking out towards the tail. And as I'm going, I'm going to brush through with the spoolie to make sure that everything is even throughout the brow. When you come to the front of the brow and you're filling in this section, I like to flick upwards and brush through to make sure the front of the brow doesn't get too blocky. Your brows will never look fully symmetrical though. What is it they say? They're sisters, not twins? Something like that. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick with golds and browns to create a kind of statement eye with a bit of gloss and glitter on the lid, but the smokiness on the lower lash line and into the crease. You could totally do color with an 80s look, but I think for me, because I'm going to probably do a red lip today, I'm going to stick with more neutral tones on the eyes. But like if you've got dark hair and you want to add in a bit of blue or green on the eye, that's going to look amazing as well. So I think for me, I'm going to start with the La Palette Nude. This has beautiful, cool brown tones in it and some shimmers, which is perfect for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take that first neutral brown shade and sweep that into and above my crease. So now on a slightly more defined brush, it's still fluffy, but just a little bit smaller, I'm going to take a darker brown and work that into the crease. Just wanna flick out at the end as well, so that we're creating that kind of feline shape to the eye and everything is blended outward. Now I think I'm going to take a slightly more precise brush again and work on the lower lash line with the first brown shade that we used and dragging that underneath the eye. Again, this will help us to blend. And flicking out towards the end so that the top and the bottom join. You can see there how we're starting to get that beautiful statement eye. Now on my slightly more precise brush again, <laughs> we're taking the darker brown and really just focusing that on the very inner part of the lower lash line. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. So just focusing it right in towards the lash bed. You could totally do this with a color as well. If you were going for a blue or a green on the eye, making that color pop on the lower lash line would look amazing for an 80s look, or maybe even some colored mascara on the lower lash line. That would look amazing. Browns are great on absolutely everyone, but particularly on blue eyes, they just go woo. <laughs> so now I'm going to use that same color and the same brush and just work it up towards the top lash line so that everything is kind of continuous and there's no breaks in the outer corner. Okay, I think it's time to move on to the gold on the lid. So I can spot a really nice shimmery gold over here and it has kind of a bronze shade in here and a gold shade. I think I might do a mixture of the two. I have a flat brush, which will be great for applying that. So I think firstly dipping into the darker kind of bronzy gold shade and applying that to the outer half of my eyelid. Just packing that on so you get a nice shimmer right up to the crease where we blended that darker shade before and the same on the other eye. If you get a tiny bit of fallout on your face, you can just flick that away with a brush, just gently, and the excess will come away. So now I'm just going to wipe my brush off ever so slightly and take this more yellowy gold shade and apply that to the inner portion of my lid. It doesn't matter if these two colors merge together, you want it to look kind of like a gradient. You can bring it slightly onto the inner corner as well because you've got that shimmer in it, it's going to help highlight. That looks really, really nice. I like these shadows. They're shimmery, but not too in your face. They're just like a subtle sheen. I really like to create a very smudgy lash line and pencils are great for that. I spot one over here. This could be perfect. Yes, this is the Super Liner Matte Matic Liner in the shade Taupe, I think. So this is a really kind of stony gray shade. And I'm going to apply that just across the outer corner of my eye and then smudge in with a brush.
just with a pencil brush, back and forth. This is super simple. To really intensify that smoky look on the eyes, I'm going to also add that liner into the waterline and to my tight line. I'm going to see what mascara I have. I have the False Lash Superstar. This is a two-step mascara. I really like this one. So you start with the white end. So now moving on to the other side. I'm just applying a generous coat. Flicking out on the end again. I'm not going to go back in for product to do the lower lashes. I'm just going to use what's on the brush. I'm loving how that's looking. So smoky on the lash line and pretty. So for lips, I'm thinking red. I'm thinking 80s, bold glamour. A red lip is exactly what I want. I think, yes, this JLo red. I've seen this before. This is the most stunning matte red. Absolutely gorgeous. So using a flat, precise brush and taking off excess on the back of my hand, I'm going to trace along my lip line. Oh my God, that red is amazing. It's so pigmented. You just can't go wrong with a red lip. It just instantly adds so much glamour. So we're pretty much done, but I'm thinking I'm going to add a touch of gloss to the lids. I'm going to use a lip gloss, I think, because I can spot a really nice neutral shimmery gloss here. And then just using my ring finger, just dab it onto the center of the lid. You'll see that the light hits that beautifully as well. Just going to tidy that up with a brush to make sure it's nice and even on both sides. And I think we're pretty much done. It's our modern 80s look. I'm just going to do a very quick little job on the hair to make it look kind of modern 80s. I'm just going to flip my hair over so a deep side part is just totally 80s to me. Just zhuzh up this hair here so it's nice and fluffy in 80s. The bigger, the better. I loved recreating an 80s inspired look. It was so much fun to play with color and accessories. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the L'Oreal Paris Beauty Room to make sure that you don't miss out on the Beauty K series every month.